quick story here. I'm actually from Twizel. I grew up in Twizel. My parents, my brothers, you know, a heap of friends still live down there. So my primary reason for going down there isn't just to fish, it's also to catch up with family and just do that kind of thing as well. About to catch a flight to Christchurch, and yeah, where my dad will pick me up. And uh, it's about a three, a three and a half hour drive down to Twizel from there. But yeah, I might do a q and I'm about to post something on Instagram. Uh, yeah asking people if they would like to ask a question and I'll answer it in this video. I'm about to post that photo right now. I posted on Instagram earlier was, uh, to ask me a question and I'll answer it in this video. I apologise in advance for the sound, I just broke my own microphone. That might sound crap. So yeah, anyway, the first question is from Dan Marsh, who says, where are you going? We spoke about this a few weeks ago, Dan. I'm coming to your house. Make sure there's cold beers. Lee Stefan, where are you planning to fish in Twizel? The hydro canals. And more specifically, gate 18 and gate 20, probably mostly. Not many people know them by those names though, so you probably won't know where that is. But yeah, gate 18, gate 20. Sam McLaughlin, hey mate, have you fished Lake Oakuri? No, I haven't, but I used to work right beside Lake Oakuri and I have seen a couple of fish in there, but I've never fished it. And slightly downstream of the Oakuri power station. So I'm not, is it Lake Awakuri above or below? I'm not sure. Uh, I'd imagine there's some big weed beds in there and good brown trout cruising around. Uh, send me a message on, uh, if you fished a lot or something, or you know something, flick me a message on Facebook or Instagram. I'd like to go and have a look around there. Uh, Aaron Holswood? Holswood? Aaron Holswood? Where should I fish when I come to the South Island next February? Take your pick anywhere, it's all good. West Coast, the hydro canals, some of the Canterbury High Country and passes, Southland. Oh, just, just, just chase the weather, chase the good weather. Favourite flies for different seasons. I don't really change flies a lot apart from specifically dry flies in summer. Um, but as far as nymphs go, I've pretty much fished the same ones throughout the year. You can never go wrong with flashback, pheasant tail, anywhere, anytime. So that's definitely my favourite fly. So if I had to pick a dry fly for summer, if I could only fish one, it would be like a royal wolf or something. As far as winter fishing around Taupo, I mean, I know that blow bugs are order of the day with most people, but unless it's really high and really dirty, I pretty much don't fish those. I'm still fishing my same summertime nymphs. They go good year round. I have made it to the first canal. I'm just gonna have a quick fish on the way into town. But it's it's night time. Not sure if you can see that, but it's definitely night time. So that is pretty much the end of that. I got a couple of little nibbly bites, but uh spent an hour or so there. All the flow disappeared, so it was pretty much non-existent. And then uh came back to Twizel. Mm -hmm. Say good day to the friends and family. So bedtime now, and uh, up into it bright and early tomorrow morning. Yeah, that will end the video. End the video. So thanks so much for watching, and hopefully the next one, which will be filmed tomorrow, will be a little more exciting than this one. But yeah, see you in the next video.